Right, so recently I bought one of these. It's a powered air filter thingy. Um, and it's been really good. I'm really impressed with it. And I've done a bit of wood turning with it. I've done loads of grinding with it. And it's stopped me coughing a lot more. So the one problem with it is when grinding, however, is that when I'm doing grinding, I'm often doing a lot of welding as well. And so I want to fit a welding mask over the front. Obviously I don't need it all, all the time, so it has to be easily removed, but I would like to be able to have this filter system with a welding mask. So I'm aware that these filters aren't rated for welding gases and they're just particulate filters. Uh, but when you're doing loads of grinding and then kind of welding immediately afterwards, there's still a lot of me fine metal particulates in the air. And so even if I can just protect myself against those, I'm happy to continue welding with the doors open and a fan running. This, having this slightly further forward than normal is going to restrict my view somewhat. Uh, because the screen's further away from my eyes. Right, so this needs to be as light as possible. And so we're going to use the headband from the welding helmet on this. And there's not much to attach to in this helmet. Uh, there appears to be some form of like earmuff connection point in here. Can't find the earmuffs that connect to it, uh, which is why I've got earplugs. They recommend some other round the back of your neck thing, but anyway, earplugs are far easier. Uh, but also it removes the point of fixing that I would like. Right, let's remove some of these bits first. Right, battery. So this comes off here. Get this out of the way for now. Okay, so first things first is this tab, this one, needs to come off. So we're going to gently and carefully cut. It's only, it's joined inside this slot, so I'm just going to take out the two sides that it's joined to, there and there. Alright, it, we're not aiming to put this foam back on here, and then that means that this should slide over here, like this, and then with the mask on, and you just pop these forward, until it clicks on both sides and that way this band fits in front of the or behind the filters uh, and this way with the band on this should be able to go over my head and I've got attachment points here and here and I can ratchet that on tighter if I need to this steams up if you don't have the fan on. I don't have the battery plugged in at the minute. Right. So that seems to work. So with this loosely on, we will attach it at some point. We're going to screw it on. Or nut and bolt it on. Um, but for now, we're going to try and put the helmet on with the original fixing points and then we'll see the what I believe is the main problem. Ah. Cool. Can't even get to it. Yeah. So this, when it's on and you're seeing out of it, wants to sit down here and then when it's up, it's going to want to sit up here out of the way. So we're going to have to make some form of bar to connect these together. Right, so I've knocked up a quick template of what I think I want. 
And we're going to fit it now and see if it fits. The joy of 3 printing. Laser cutting things. Big wash out on the inside going out. Yeah, we're gonna make these out of metal eventually. As a reasonable bit of weight to this one. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out that piece of wood ain't strong enough. Right, so this happened. I printed some more out without the lightning hosing. So let's refit all these. Right, so the last time we did this, this mat was the width. So we're going to loosen these up and hope that So these are the this set and there's a bit of a gap here It's kind of hard to tell in here there's a gap and in here so it's like a good inch gap we might be able to bring it back further so I've made these which have got holes every half inch so that we can adjust it, our template, before we start cutting it out of aluminium. I've just got to take it all apart again. This on, and then... Alright, so this is what we're going to make the brackets out of. And after a few iterations, this is the shape we're going for. and. But to do that, to mark it out, what we're going to do is we're going to use this stuff, which is marking fluid. So, like this. And so with this stuff, all you need is something hard. And so I've just got this little spike. And all we're going to do is we're going to trace around all of the edges. Yeah. Hopefully without it moving. Right, and then hopefully we can get this in like that. And that way we save a load of bar. Draw some pictures. And uh, we're going to cut the, cut the main shape out on the bandsaw, hopefully. So let's pop over there. So when cutting this, I don't want to cut dead on the line. I want to give myself a little bit of space just so that I can file it back to exactly the line. Although it, it doesn't matter too much on this. Uh, <laughs>
Right, so I've sanded all the edges. They're almost the same, uh, which is fine for what we need them to do. And now I'm just going to paint them blue again so that we can mark out where the holes need to go. Okay, so because of the thickness of the aluminium, I need to remove everything within this this score line. Yeah. And we're probably just going to do straight cuts back and forth because it's going to be easier. Right, so I got these fitted. Uh, I'm going to take them off and then clean them up before fitting the helmet because I already kind of know it's going to fit on there, hopefully. Um, but to take it all apart would be a pain. So we're going to uh, give these a quick sand. Uh, we're going to go for a brushed effect. Brushed, sanded, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because it's easier. Um, I did think about doing a mirror polish, but it's going to take too long to do that. So we're going to go with a nice sanded brushed effect. This is like a sanding scotch pad, so... Going to use oh, some of them little dome headed jobbies on the inside. So I was going to bolt the headband onto the, the helmet because there's enough plastic 
near each other to, to do that. But actually, if you get the tension on these, these bolts at the sides right, it seems to work fine. Um, and then I can move the whole lot so I don't have that extra, I don't know, it's like 600 grams resting on my head. Oh, a thumbs up away. It does kick up a bit, like this, whenever you lift it up all the way, but... I mean, it won't happen when it's on your head. So, I think we're gonna give that a go. So if you like this sort of thing and you want to see me make and repair more random things then please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.